How do you like it? Hey Guardians, Go Shuki here. It's Friday, November 23rd, and um, we're on the EDZ here with Zer. We're going to see what disappointment he brought us for the week. Just kidding. Um, but he's over here in the Winding Cove on the EDZ, if you're not sure. Um, just go all the way back here, climb up some trees, and um, there you can see the respawn down there. Um, but we're going to take a look at what he brought for us. So let's let's see here. Alright, what do you got for us in the last se last week of Season 4? So first off, we have the Suros Regime Auto Rifle. Uh, the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on the kill. Um, it does have the option of spinning up, which holding down the trigger increases your rate of fire. Or dual speed receiver when aiming down sights, the weapon's rate of fire slows down and um, your damage increases. So pretty awesome um, auto rifle. If you do not have it, I would definitely recommend picking it up. For our Warlocks, we have the Karnstein Armlets. And we're going to take a look at the perks here in a second. But melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. So if you use melee a lot, this is actually a really good one for Warlocks. Uh, we have Mobility and Re-Enhancement. Uh, we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, or Impact Induction. And we've got Shotgun Scavenger and Heavy Ammo Finder. Not a bad, not a bad roll on that one, so might be something you want to pick up this week. For our hunters, we have the Worm Husk Crown, which is a great one. Um, it has Burning Souls. Dodging gives you a small health and shield bump. Um, so basically, if you're weak, like in PvP or something, you dodge and get some health back. has Reinforcement or Restorative Mods. And we have Bow Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, and Hands On. Followed by Shotgun Reserves and Heavy Ammo Finder. So that one's not a bad one there for hunters. Might want to pick that one up also. And for our Titans out there, we do have the Armamentarium, which gives you an additional grenade charge. So definitely nice. Always fun having extra grenades. Uh, we've got Resilience or Health Recovery. We've got Bow Targeting, or I'm sorry, Unflinching Bow Aim. Unflinching. Uh, unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim and Unflinching Sniper Aim. And over here we have Scout Rifle Reserves and Special Ammo Finder. So an okay perk, but definitely an awesome exotic. Um, I recommend picking up any of these if you don't have them. Uh, we do have our Faded Ingram. Um, it's going to give us some vanilla Destiny 2 exotics if you're missing any still. So not too useful for me right now since I do have all the vanilla ones. And if you have them all, it may not be useful. But could get you a random roll on some, um, some of the um, armor. So it might, be, it might be nice, but it's pretty expensive just to try that. And finally, we have our Five of Swords Challenge card, which gives us more modifiers on our Nightfall Strikes, which can give us a larger score. But that's going to be it for the week from Xur. Um, next week's a uh, new season. Maybe you'll have some new stuff from Forsaken. That'd be nice, because if you're like me, you haven't gotten a lot of the exotics. Uh, but thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And Goshuki out.